That's how it worked. I mean, <laughs> my way is more fun. Hmm. You're right. Of course, he could literally be anywhere in the world, so finding him could be. Hey, look, there he is. Oh, why does it always have to be so hard? <laughs> Chop down, Stu. We found you. Sorry, friends, but nobody's called me that in a long time. I'm Stuart now, your friendly yoga healer. Zen, 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 zen. Oh, ooh, zen. must be some sort of secret kung fu language. Cool. There's something familiar about you two. Well, people do say we have a striking resemblance to the boogers on the side of the bus stop bench. So did we, I says to him. Hey, is you still listening? Hmm, no. I don't think that's it, Zen. Actually, we're here to chop you so we can absorb some of Woodchuck Morris's Kung Fu awesomeness. Prepare yourself for the fury that is fungus! I can't do it. He looks too peaceful. Sorry, friends, but I've left the Kung Fu world behind me for good. But how can we chop you if you don't Kung Fu, sir? We're gonna need a touching yet painful tale to explain this no kung fu madness. Very well. I was once a hotshot martial arts champion, uh, nominated for catchiest new kung fu action star name. I was auditioning to be the next big movie star, but they chose Woodchuck Morris. <sighs> hey, watch it. Instead of fame and glory, I became the faceless nobody that always took a beating. Finally, sick of getting no respect, I quit. Now I've found true happiness as a spiritual healer. I know I've seen you before. Oh well, since you came all this way, maybe I can do something for you. Finally, time for you to transform back into Chop Down Stew so we can chop ya! By placing these crystals over your chakra points, I will be able to realign the energies of your mind. Poor guy. He's obviously been brainwashed by kung fu hating aliens. He must be so miserable. I can't watch this anymore! We gotta remind Stu what it's like to be in an awesome kung fu action movie and get him back to normal! And then we can chop him? Yep! Let's do it! And as soon as I get these crystals out of my eye... <laughs> Why did I stick them in my eye?! <laughs> How exciting! I wasn't aware of a spiritual healing convention in town this week. It's right inside! Go check it out! Also, enjoy the angry ninjas! <laughs> You're gonna have to fight your way out! Nothing like a little ninja battle royale to get you back to normal. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Pretty quiet in there. Hold for five breaths and release. Action movies always have a car going over the cliff. 
This'll bring out Chop Down Stew for sure! Hey, Kung Fu Instinct, you're gonna kick in any second now! Any second! Um, um. Have you boys seen my car? <laughs> We've rigged this place up with so many traps, Chop Down Stu will have no choice but to use Kung Fu! No! You're supposed to chop those deadly rose petals into smithereens! <laughs> oh, man! Why did we get rigged again? Hmm, maybe that trap store was just a garden center. Might I interest you in a cup of tea? The detoxifying herbs will help take your stress away. Tea? Come on, nobody ever got hurt by a cup of tea. Fungus, <laughs> I'll save you! <laughs> Wait a second, that annoying sound. It's so familiar. One of you will be the next great Kung Fu star, and my choice is... <laughs> oh, so that's where it went. Oh. So my choice to be the next star is, I guess you. Woodchuck Morse, you are the future of Kung Fu. Oh, yes! Ooh, ow, ooh, paper gun. <laughs> I guess drinking tea is tougher than it looks. It was you. You were the ones with the trumpet, the ones that changed my life forever. So that's where my trumpet went? I was wondering. Thanks to you, instead of becoming a big-time action star, I became a faceless nobody who always got chopped by Woodchuck Morris. Oh, that's so kind of you to say. We don't need any thanks. It was our pleasure to help. Oh, you not understanding is making me even angrier. I am Chop Down Stu, and I'm going to show the world that I should have been a Kung Fu superstar. Yes, I knew we could do it. He's back to loving Kung Fu. Now to destroy this town. Oh, I love a happy ending. Hmm, maybe it's not over yet? <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, well, still less destructive than the Chucks. Don Dingle Dash here in downtown Dingaling Springs, where a former Kung Fu nobody is running around being generally annoying. Chop Down Stew is back, and to prove my Kung Fu superiority, I'm going to destroy the town's most prized possession. <gasps> the Salmon of Justice? My collection of pointless collections? My track and field medal? No, no! The statue of your hometown hero, Woodchuck Morris! I'm gonna chop off the head and replace it with my own. It's mostly symbolic. If you do that, how will people know Woodchuck Morris is from here? Fungus, I think it's time we chop this monster down. Agreed! I've been waiting all day for this. We did it! We chopped the visible out of him! Uh, um. Oh, were we supposed to be fighting or something? Sorry, I didn't know. Gah, he's unbeatable! We've got no choice! Mr. Mayor, we need to use the town's Woodchuck Morris emergency hotline! There's that ringing sound again! I really need to get my ears checked. Tomorrow. Well, I guess that's the end of us all. Time to head home and finish writing my novel. Don Dingle Dash, time traveling cop from the future. She's sassy. And wields a mean trumpet. Fungus, did you hear that? I know. A novel? Who reads anymore? Yes, but also trumpet. Ah. You see now? Nope. Wait here. Now do you get it? <gasps> Not at all! Just play this like you know how! But I don't know how! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Chop down, Stew. You're going down. What? I like hot dogs. Don't judge. Not again. Looks like everything worked out perfectly. Except we didn't save the statue. Hmm. We also never got to chop stew. Hey! A half-eaten hot dog! Score! <gasps> so everything really did work out perfectly. <laughs> All right, pal, you're coming with me. Don Dingle Dash, time-traveling cop from the future. Hey, you look kind of familiar. 